Good morning, Wolf Pack, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We're picking all up right where we left off in the last video. I uh, remember we just uh, picked down five pirates, got in a little bit of bounty off them, and we're going to be turning in this mess in here. Uh, so, let's go do that. And like I said, I think we're going to do, I don't know, it would be, we would sell off a little bit of trading. Not much to trade in except for flying back and forth between uh, stations. That's about it. With the occasion of someone trying to start trying to stop you. Oh, it's my credit anyways. I've been saving up. I have three mail on these. Hold up. Almost four mail. Okay, off to the home system. Or the system I claimed as home anyways. Nice planet, right before we go into hyper up here, wherever. And okay, here we go. Whoa. Someone just came in. I'm going to turn this in and then. It went through me new. Excuse me. Yeah, I always like. This one really has my interest. Mainly, uh, the next major, uh, block or whatever. That's going to be the next update or whatever. I guess everyone's calling it season season two. I guess uh, when in development, there's a, well, this guy's going by seasons. I guess season one content, season two content, season three. I think maybe up to four seasons. I could be wrong. Maybe correct me. Comments. But the next one big uh, update for this game will be Planetary Landing, which looks to be. And they're trying to make it where, uh, not going to be just, uh, loading screen, going towards the planet, then loading screen, and then you're in the planet. It'll be one transaction, more or less. No loading screen. It's going to be really neat. And we've seen it in, uh, everyone's probably seen the trailer, trailer for, uh, No Man's Sky. I heard that one might not make it to Xbox uh, Xbox players, sadly. I think it's going to be only for Sony players and uh, PC players. So the next best one, oh, yeah, that will be Elite Dangerous. It sounds like. still, I think there's another one too that's out that will be doing the same thing. There'll be three space games that will have Planetary Land in. And I know there's other uh, independent games out there on Steam that does it. Hey, what's another YouTuber who uh, plays uh, um, uh, that's, that's Game Stander or Glass Standing Gamer Gamers. He's been doing uh, Ace Engineer, which will eventually have planets. I don't know how that's going to work out. And then he also plays another game that has uh, played another game. I can't remember the name. That also does Planetary Landing. Really neat that a lot of these games are starting to get that way. These games. The land. Docking request granted. 
how to apply it to the rest of the work. I was about to try it myself, which I can, but make it work quicker. Oh, you get to do this stuff, and like, it's really neat. Hey, don't have anything illegal like me, officer. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of these space games are uh, be coming out. Right now, I'm gonna be just kind of stuck with Elite Dangerous and Long Dark. I might throw a few other randoms in there, but those are gonna be my main focus for a little bit on YouTube. Uh, until I hopefully get a little bit better equipment. Now I know Fallout 4 will be coming out here soon. I don't know if I'm going to do any of that on YouTube. I might have that one also for a personal, my personal uh, enjoyment. Don't know yet, but I did that with uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. My personal, I might eventually release a, do a video or two on it at this point because I've done. Good point of it. I mean, I'm done with the story. I'm just trying to build up my private force now. And a little bit of F FOBs, which is the online. But really nothing too major. Uh, Metal Gear Online sounds like it'd be coming out. Uh, I think October 6th, but it's not too far off. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I said I was going to show you guys some trade-in. It looks like there's only one trade-in. Quality of five. Do I have room? Oh, okay. I can have up to eight, so... You require a holder to commit delivery run. Interested? It's going to be towards... Offland Pent. And that's Algern. I'm going to be going back to the same system that I just came from. Only 22,000 credits, not a lot, but I'm gonna show you guys how I agree. Bye, I said, got it. So I should have the mission over here. And I should have cargo. Yep, okay, so we're gonna go and do a little trading. And these ones are, uh, Beacon missions, I do believe, you're, uh, they're requesting a certain type of, uh, item that you have to go and find on your own, like this one, they want you to find and think meat. So what you do there is you're going to be going to stations, going to the market, and seeing if I am, and that, nope, this one only sells, so... But that's why you're in there. But we're only going to be doing one trade in here. He's gone. Yeah, let's launch, launch and turn this in. So whatever it is, these uh, or whatever they're called. Yeah, I like how they added the future. It's been added probably a while now since. Uh, the ability to look on the galaxy map on the mission, so it will automatically mark your mission target. Oh, uh, let me go here. Apparently, I don't have any system in there. Oh, we have time. Go. Going back to actually, I think we're going back to that outpost. That's a lot. Going back to the outpost that we just came from. If you're going, if you're going to be a trader, you're going to be doing a lot of probably coming back to stations that you've been to. I don't know. I'm not much of a trader myself. I never get my head wrapped around it. I always just accept the trader missions or the hauler missions. But if you're really good, you can also. On the galaxy map, you can track what planets are doing what, producing what, where the trade routes are, and learn all those. You can 
probably make a pretty good profit by just buying and selling half the time. I need Yes, we need that plan. A little bit. Oh. I have to protect my controller. It's been that weird. Oh, sorry. I had to stretch. Yeah, that's mainly what traders do. You're just get yourself a hull. Now, if you had a bigger ship, like one of the trading ships, uh, the type. What was it? Type 6, Type 7, and the Type 9. Type 9 is the biggest hauler out there. Type 6 is the smallest, and I think Type 7 is the medium. If you had a massive haul, massive uh, cargo bay, you could accept uh, all types of haul missions. Really low it up. I did dab up the system I've been working with for some time. I did have the Type 6 haul, uh, Type 6. Holler or whatever. What I did is I stopped at every station uh, that was in that system. I just picked up all the in the move. I don't remember. Here. Oh, no, no, there you're not. We're on the other side of the planet there for a minute. I did get a few fines by doing what I did with the Type 6 because I wasn't just accepting standard hauls or digit hauls, I was also accepting uh, regular hauls too, so. And I got caught quite a bit. So. That's also, if you're going to be a smuggler, you need to probably learn the, how high of the security. Uh, level is in the system that you're going to do. You can usually do that through the uh, news or the galaxy news team. What do I doing? Okay. Wow, well, I know what fell all of a sudden. Fucking. Docking request granted. This is where the auto dock comes in handy when right? because you know you're going to have multiple. You're going to be stopping at multiple stations, some small, some big, and the auto doctor it saves you, saves off, saves, yeah, passes off some of your time. Remove me. Oh, we do. Oh, we go. Oh, bell and board. Bye and bye. Boop. Go and get cargo. By doing that, the LTT. I influence with LTT. Well, did I go down a little bit? Where I was higher with the E. That tells you what I did. Now what we can do. We're gonna be going back to uh, our system. See if they have anything that needs to go back to our system. Don't look like it. That's if you want to deal with one system. That's how I've been doing it. Up in that. Uh, And you stop at a station, see if they have any more cargo going to your next stop or back to your, uh, back to the system that you've been working with. So I'm going to go back to my system. And then that'll be the end of the, the it for the rest of the day. I'm actually going to stop at the closest one. Ship release. 
Oh, well, if anyone's a Metal Gear Solid 5 player, yeah, and looking for someone to support their FOB, I would be happy to support your FOB. Just send me, try to find me on uh, Metal Gear. I'd be happy to uh, send your FOB. Okay, so the planet's in our way, so what we need to do is go into Super Cruise. Drive charging. Around this planet. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, and this planet. And it's in the way. I can't wait for planetary landing for this game. That was like the first planets, however, are going to be rocky or moon type or no atmosphere type planets. Mainly moon, asteroids, and whatever. Then they're going to be slowly uh, adding it. Really neat. And it like changing the subjects a lot. I'm not going to have much time. Sadly. Sadly, that's all the time I have for this video. If you like what you see, tell me down in the comments. Otherwise, check my annotations for other videos I've done. And you see this lone wolf in the next video slash game. Thanks for watching. Bye.